Canal negotiation and glide path preparation is the first part of the root canal preparation and probably the most important part. I often find myself spending more time on this part of the procedure to get the canals patent before glide path preparation compared to the actual preparation with root canal preparation instruments. So allow me to highlight my step-by-step -step protocol for this phase of the treatment. As mentioned before, canal patency is the first step. I use a combination of O8C plus and O8K files to negotiate the canals to patency. Some cases are easy and some cases are very very difficult. I think that the inability to create patency to full working length is often the reason why we see so many poorly prepared and obturated root canal systems. On this video clip you can see that I've just achieved patency now. After that I will do my working length using an electronic apex locator. In some cases the inability to negotiate the root canal system, especially for instance the MB2 canal and maxillary molars, is due to the presence of restrictive dentine at the orifice of the canal causing the file not to enter with a straight, with straight line access. A very effective instrument that can be used to remove restrictive dentine at this level is the XX instrument from the ProTaper Universal System. This instrument should be used in a backstroke brushing motion and never pushed down into the root canal system. The severe taper of 9-11% to of this instrument can cause taper lock and fracture if it, if it is used continuously with the wrong motion. The next step towards glide path preparation will be to create a reproducible micro glide path. As you can see from this slide, I like to divide the physical glide path preparation steps into a micro and a macro glide path. Let's first discuss the micro glide path. A reproducible micro glide path can only be prepared with hand instruments, small hands instruments like a size 08 or 10k file depending on the initial size of the canal. We have to understand that many canals have already a micro glide path present, but the problem is that they are not reproducible. Let me show you this example. On this video we have a size 08k file that can travel down the root canal to patency. However, when we pull the file back out of the canal and try to push it back to working length, it hangs up somewhere on the canal wall. This means that there is a glide path, but it is not reproducible. This diagram depicts these type of canals where there is a glide path, but it is not reproducible. And I like to refer to these glide paths as being irregular in shape. When we're lucky, or when the glide path is regular, it is possible to push a size 0, 8 or 10k file to full working length very easily. However, the clinical challenge occurs when we pull the file back, as we saw on the, on the video, previous video clip, it then hangs up on some of the irregularities on the canal wall. In these type of canals with an irregular glide path, it is advocated to take an 08 or 10k file to full working length and then using small amplitudes, we have to make the file loose at 1mm, then up to 2mm, 3mm and 4mm from working length, according to the technique described by John West. The third step in glide path preparation is to check if we have indeed created a reproducible micro glide path with these small hand instruments. To confirm this step, it is advisable to take a 10k file to full working length or patency, withdraw it for about 4 to 5 millimeters from working length, and then you must be able to push it back to working length with light finger pressure 
without any obstruction in its path of travel towards patency. This verification process will confirm the creation of a reproducible microglide glide path. Now we are getting to the last stage of glide path preparation and that is to expand the micro glide path using rotary glide path instruments for example path files or a single pro glider instrument. This will create an even smoother and more regular glide path making the root canal ready to accept any root canal preparation instrument with safety and respect for the root canal anatomy.